Early in my career, in the 1970s and 80s, early 80s, I learned very quickly that I needed to be able to control the edginess of vocalists and of uh, horns and of anything that would get harsh like a guitar, an electric guitar for instance. And so I had at the time a console that allowed me to have the bands that were broken down into five bands. It was an EQ3 circuit and one of those bands was 2.5K and so I found that if I would just take and tweak that down as they would hit the harsh places, I could control that edge. Then I thought, man, I need a circuit that will control pulling that gain down on that bandpass like I was turning it down. So we decided to build a compressor that controlled the 2.5K and we modified an EQ3 circuit board and put that control circuit on it to pull that gain down to control the harshness so that it wouldn't hurt your ears. And it would take it right up to the edge of hurt and you'd think it was gonna hurt, but it made it sound so much more powerful that your ears would actually relax and be able to go, wow, that sounded amazing, rather than, oh, that hurt my ears. And that's where the Magnum K compressor was born that day that I discovered and learned that. <laughs> I used those compressors in the studio, cutting vocals and horns and guitars and anything that I, I could, that needed to be controlled for over 40 years. I loved them and I still love them, I still have them. And they were the only two in existence until now. The two compressors I called Magnum K. The Magnum stood for more power because they made things feel more powerful. And the K stood for 2.5K that was being controlled to make it do that. In 2016, Mog Audio prototyped a new compressor containing this unique circuit, which we called the KCOM. Once 2.5K is controlled and summed, it's then sent to a full range, full feature compressor. When you look at the full band compressor, you'll notice a unique knob labeled 4, 8, 12, and 16. This knob really helps me as an engineer predetermine how much compression I may want on a certain instrument or vocal or anything that I'm recording. And it works like a kind of a governor on the, on the compressor. So when I hit, put it on 4 dB in the feedback mode, it will do 4 dB and no more. If I put it on 8 dB, it'll do 8 dB and no more. If I were cutting a vocal, now I can cut that vocal and know that I'm not going to over compress the vocal. If the vocal's very aggressive, then I can set it at 8 dB and roll the ratio back and know that I'm going to be able to control that vocal well as, as well. Now, if I put it in the feed forward mode, all bets are off. I mean, that thing can get really aggressive. I remember one night when we were listening to the prototype and we were trying to figure out how to blend the original signal back in with the compressed signal. And it just happened to be sitting next to our EQ2 500 series. And I thought, man, why don't we blend it back in, take the original signal through the EQ2, and then we could, we could augment the sound with the air band that's really cool. And then we would also have the LMF that would control and augment the low mid frequencies, the full bandwidth. And that's what we did. We put those two units together with the compressor and ran it through the console. And then we took the same signal and sent to the, to the EQ2 and summed those together and we blended them together. And our jaws dropped. It was something we never expected that it would hit us that that strongly because now we could add the high end, the transparency in the top end of the original signal back in to the compressed signal that generally takes away some of that. And we could bring all of that back in. It was amazing to, for us the first time to hear it. At this point, we were so happy with the results that we wanted to add a bonus. We wanted to give the engineer the ability to push the headroom of the recording device. So, we added a soft limiter. The soft limiter allows me to record 2 dB hotter, adding color and character. All I have to do is turn the makeup gain until the soft limiter LED flashes pink. 
The Magnum K compressor has become my favorite tool. It combines two compressors in series, a parallel EQ and a soft limiter. Mog Audio is very pleased to be able to partner with Plugin Alliance to bring you this product.